Decision day this morning in a Facebook face-off. Former President Donald Trump versus the platform that banned him after the January 6th insurrection for fanning the flames of dangerous conspiracy theories. The company's independent oversight board will now decide whether that indefinite ban will stay in place or whether Mr. Trump will be allowed back on the site or maybe something in between, according to experts, who say the board could call on Facebook to clarify its rules before they make a decision. If the former president does get back on, he could still be subject to the rules for all Facebook followers, like fact checks, and could still get kicked off again. He's still banned from Twitter, which he used often during his presidency. And now he's launching a new site, not a social media platform, but what one person involved describes as one-way communication, basically a blog to let people sign up for the press releases the former president's been putting out, including one this week, where he insisted his legitimate 2020 election loss should be called a big lie, despite the fact he was rightfully defeated. That message blasted by the number three Republican in the House of Representatives, Congresswoman Liz Cheney, who's refusing to go along with pretending the election was stolen, putting her in a perilous position at risk of losing her leadership role. I have heard from members concerned about her ability to carry out the job as conference chair, to carry out the message. And in a hot mic moment, top House Republican Kevin McCarthy apparently went even further. Mediaite obtaining this audio of McCarthy from just before he went on air. I've had it with her. It's, you know, I've lost confidence. McCarthy's office did not respond to NBC News' request for comment. Cheney has already survived one vote to remove her and is not giving an inch now, with her spokesperson saying this is about whether the Republican Party is going to perpetuate lies about the 2020 election and attempt to whitewash what happened on January 6th. Liz will not do that. And now you have the conservative editorial board of The Wall Street Journal weighing in on this GOP civil war, saying the better part of political prudence would be for Ms. Cheney to ignore Mr. Trump, but Mr. Trump won't ignore her. She may be ousted because she is daring to tell the truth to GOP voters and at personal political risk. This influential board also adds that purging Liz Cheney for honesty would diminish the party. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.